sometimes like R2D2 as well. Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMakeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to try and fix up this Casio Musical Calculator. This is ML75 and it's from 1985, so it's 35 years old. I must say it looks in very good condition. I bought it off eBay, 40 for £5. It didn't say what the problem was apart from it didn't work. I can't show you the listing because it doesn't exist anymore. Although I only bought it a month ago, it says the user is no longer registered, so it won't let me find uh, it won't let me get to the listing but there was nothing interesting on there anyway so now i'm uh, wondering is it just going to be a battery fault who knows let's take it apart and let's see what's happening right so it says uh, dc three volts now i've got a feeling something like this would have driven teachers mad because the temptation for kids to put it onto the music setting and start playing music on this would have been too big Uh, why didn't it say what, what it takes? Well, I've got some AG13s LR44. Let's see if these are going to fit. Oh, they'd be too big. Yeah, they're going to be too big. But saying that, they, uh, it will tell us whether it's working or not, won't it? Yeah, it's working. Right, so there's going to be nothing wrong with this. How do you put it onto music? Oh, here we go. Oh. Maybe that's the problem. It's not happy at all. Or is it just my hands on it which is causing it to uh, short out? Yeah, I think it's just my hands. I oh, know, maybe not. Sounds like a Spectrum game loading up. Oh, interesting, it doesn't actually work. Let me see if I've got any other batteries. I've got these Renata batteries here, 381. Now these are too narrow, but they, uh, I think they're gonna work because the springs are quite strong on this one, so they should make a contact. Is it supposed to do that? Right, that must be for calculator. Four. <laughs> what is going on? Let's go to set. Really, really, really weird. Sounds like R2-D2 as well. Right, I mean, maybe there's some weird setting that you have to do to get it working to begin with. So I'm gonna have a look online, see if there's any manual, and then take it from there. But I've got a feeling that this is actually faulty because even now I'm on calculator and it's not doing anything. Yeah, look, it's kind of seized up now. Let me check online. Okay, I did find some sort of manual online, but whew, is it complicated and I can't be bothered at this moment in time to get my head around it because if I go to calculator or to that musical one there, I should be able to do functions and I can't. In fact, right now, it's not making a difference what I do. So I think we need to take it apart, see if we can find anything obvious and then we can worry about the manual later on. What's interesting is on the instructions, it says that the, uh, cal uh, the uh, calendar will go from whatever date it was to 1999. So, could this be the year 2000 bug? Looks like we've got a little crystal down here. Right, annoyingly, we've got the speaker attached to the back here. 
uh, by two tiny wires. I wonder, is that going to come off? No, I'm going to struggle. Right, I'm going to have to uh, unsolder that. That's a shame. So I've got to be careful with the screen because this is just one of those ones that's got adhesive on it there. Do you know, I don't know how to take it apart any further. I think I'm going to have to prise off this black from the metal front. Yeah, I think it's on with sticky. Oh, all these keys are going to come out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is going to be a nightmare. Right, I've got to make sure I know where every one of those keys are. So let's just take a quick steal off it there. Pain. Right, okay, got a little spring here as well. Do you know what, this is gonna be a nightmare to put back together. So that's just to stop the batteries from shorting, isn't it? I must say though, it is very nicely made with all the little keys and everything. Right, we've got another spring here as well. I can see one spring goes here. There must be another hole maybe up here for another spring. You know that's an hour's job trying to get all those keys lined up again. Also random things like that, where the hell is that going to go? Oh, there's a tiny little screw here. Didn't see that. Ah, that's probably it. Yep. That was a big waste of time. Right, okay. Right, so we've got power coming down on these two little prongs here, and also there's a prong here as well. So that's going to put power down onto, must be these outer two bits here. Yeah, these bits here. Right, and the positive's going to be on the outside, which is that one there. So I don't quite know why we've got another little prong sticking down here. Well, it said three volts on the back, so they have to be in series, don't they? So now, does this connect here to here then? Yes, it does. Okay. So it's to there. So basically it is just there and there. Does that connect to there? No. Don't quite know why we've got a prong there then. So it goes from here to here, which goes through the battery to here. That connects to the positive there, and that one goes to here. Fine. Okay. So that's three volts going into this. Well, unless the crystal's gone, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it, does there? So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get my bench power supply and I think I'm going to put three volts across here and then we can mess around with it and see what's, uh, see what's happening. Maybe I can get my scope and see what this crystal is here. Mind you, I'm not, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. But I suppose it will tell us whether it's given a reading or not. But saying that, it must be given some sort of reading, otherwise it wouldn't perform anything, I don't think. I suppose an easier thing might be just to uh, unsolder it and see if it's doing the same thing as it did before, in which case then it means that the, uh, the crystal's gone. Right, I've got my bench power supply set up. It's 3 volts DC and the current is just 0.09. OK, 
Okay, so that's that there. Now, it's going to be to do with these contacts down here, isn't it? So, okay, so it looks like this looks like it's making more sense at the moment. What's it doing now? Is it just scrolling through different things? I think I'm going to get my cheap scope and probe this uh, crystal here and see if it's showing anything. Right, I really still don't know my way around this scope whatsoever, so uh, let's just experiment. So I've put it to there to get the ground. Let's turn it on. We're on DC at the top here. You can see how dusty it is because it's never used. Let's see if we're getting anything. Uh, well, I'm already getting a frequency here, aren't I? But whether I'm on or off, it's not making any difference. Do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to... I'm going to unsolder that crystal and let's see... Let's see if it does anything different then. So that's the crystal out, so now let's pop the power back on. So this is the positive this side. Let's see now if it's doing anything different. I presume it's not going to work at all now. No, oh, we've still got something. Oh no, we haven't. We had something for a second there. Right, we've just got a tiny little symbol that's come up here. Oh, here we go. Look, oh, we got the correct time. Not the correct time, sorry. It's counting properly. That's interesting. How can it keep the correct time without a crystal? Or would there be a crystal already built into this chip and that crystal's for something else? There's no other crystal on that board there. What's going on? Look, can you see now it's not racing? That is the correct time. Sorry, it's it's uh, it's counting up in seconds in the correct amount. Right, okay. Uh, remember, I'm just guessing now where, where the calculator bit is. Three. Six. Oh my God. Wow, okay, so if that's three, this should be one. Hold on. No, this is one here. One, two, three. Four's not doing anything. Oh, I've filled up the display. Where's delete? I don't know where delete is because I've got rid of all the buttons. Okay, plus. Now let's do minus. Let's get the figure down a bit. Minus. Oh, that's a point down there. Divide by three. Would that be equals? Right, so that minus one equals, yeah. <laughs> it's working without a crystal. So what is the crystal for? Would the crystal be for some sort of music? Now that is interesting, isn't it? That is certainly interesting. Right, let's uh, kill the power to this. 
And let's zoom in on this and see if we can get any reading off it. So I think what happens is sometimes if these items get dropped, the crystal can then fail. GFK. That just looks like a maker's mark. So how am I supposed to know what this is? I'm just going to Google GFK crystal and see what comes up. But I've got a feeling that's just a maker's mark. So if there's no frequency on here, I mean, would, would it just be a normal clock crystal? You know, the ones that are, uh, I forget what... Uh, what what they are now, but you know the, the ones that's just in digital watches. Would it just be one of them? I suppose they are the cheapest ones out there because they're mass produced, so it could just be one of them. I've looked online and that's not showing me anything there. I'm almost certain that that is going to be the actual manufacturer rather than what the uh, frequency of the crystal is. So I'm just going to purely take a guess. I'm just thinking that maybe it's just going to be a standard watch crystal, which is 32.768 kilohertz. Now I bought these ages ago. I think they might have been for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Let's pop one in and see what happens. Uh, I'm thinking if it's the wrong frequency, is it going to cause any damage or will it just will it just not work? Hopefully it won't cause any damage. And if that's the case, I can always just disconnect it completely and just have it working as a calculator or put it back together and see what's not working on it. So I'm just going to trim these legs down a bit. Would be nice if it was the crystal it's like a proper fix but at the same time it's not a complete nightmare where I have to spend whole, a whole day on something which is only worth five pounds. Right, okay, I've trimmed those legs down. Now it's not going to matter which way around it goes. Actually I better push that in a bit more. Right, that's soldered on there now, so let's put the power back in it and let's see if it's doing anything. It's not going crazy, is it? And the time's working properly now with that crystal. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this back together and I suppose if the timing, if the crystal was out, it would set the timing out, wouldn't it? So maybe the crystal hadn't gone completely, maybe it was shorting or something like that internally. The thing is, they don't, they don't short, do they? Or do they short? Let's. Uh, Let's just get a, see if we can get any ohms reading or anything on it. No, it's just, but it might be just too sensitive. So the thing is, it, it must have been doing something because as soon as we unsoldered it, we then got a good reading uh, and we didn't have a good reading before. So by removing the crystal, the time went back to normal and also the calculator worked. Now again, the time is back to normal. I don't know whether the calculator works or not, but yeah, I think I think it points to that. The thing is, have I put the correct crystal in? Haven't got a clue. Never going to be able to find out. There's there's nothing about this online. There is the manual, the instructions for it, but you're not going to get a schematic. Well, I'm almost certain you're not going to get a schematic for this online. So uh, yeah, let's pop it back together and see what it does. I don't think it's going to take too long because I've got a picture online that shows me where all the buttons go. And I know which way the buttons go up or down because there's a little... Uh, notch towards the top. Obviously that's obvious which way it goes, but let's say now an equal sign is going to be a bit harder to know, but because of the, the notch I know that that's going to go up on top. These little notches here.
So I think that's back together. I don't really want to wiggle it around yet. I'm now going to solder the speaker back on and try to clip it all back into place. Speaker solder back on. Right, amazingly, that actually went back together. Okay, I thought that would be seriously painful, but, uh, oh, uh, I've got the C the wrong way round. Oh, that's annoying. Also, these, doesn't, these don't feel like they're pressing. No, nope, something's not right. Something's not right here. They're all going again. Oh, oh, I knew this would be a nightmare. Uh, right, okay. Same process again. I just got to wear. Uh, just got to make sure that I get them all in place. All right. The problem is, is that the original sticky tape that sticks the metal thing to this plastic has just. There's no stick left. It's just kind of become more like uh, crusty. So I'm going to be putting new double-sided sticky tape on all these bits around here. It's going to take quite a while because I'm going to have to cut thin bits and stuff, but hopefully then they will stay in position. Okay, so you can see all these bits here. So now hopefully this will stick into place. I've got my springs in as well. There we go. Excellent. Right, now I'm going to reassemble it all. Right, I know the mistake I made with the C. So if you have a look, remember I said that those notches are all up the top. Well, they're not. Look at this row here. The 6 and 9 are basically the same button. And uh, all this row here has the notches at the bottom. And then all this row will have the notches at the top. And then all this notch will have the row at the bottom. And then this one will have them all at the top. So it does, uh, it does vary. This time it went together nice. So it was just the fact that the adhesive wasn't wasn't sticky. Right, how do I put this one in? Here we go. So I've got the batteries in. Right, let's see what it's doing. Excellent, we got the time, which is good. Now, calculator. One, two, times three, 36, perfect, clear, 8 times 8 equals 64, well that's working, 12 times 12 equals that, divided by 12 equals that, minus 5 equals that, yeah that appears to be working, 7 divided by 2, interesting, I'll tell you what, it's quite nice pressing the keys, they're not, it's more like they're touch sensitive, look at that, they're really, really they're not touch sensitive, there is little pads, but they're really responsive. Yeah, that's quite nice. Right, let's see the music. Ho oh, ho! Excellent! Well, that's working. Now, let's see if I can set the... Uh Let's see if I can set the time. I'm just going to look online how to do that. Oh my my, what a palaver. Right, okay. Uh, to set it, you have to press this to set. You have to enter in the time. Press the dot here for PM. And then you have to get some small little tweezers or something to poke in here where it says adjust and set. So now you can see the time is right. And also the date. Again, put it to set. Hit the date there. Uh, sorry, hit AC there to reset it. Put in your date and then press the set button here. And now look, time and date are both set. So that's the time, 5.38 and 14 seconds p.m. And if I press date there, you can see 14th of the 9th, 20. So it looks like it is working past a year uh, in this in this century, which is uh, which is nice. So that is it. What I think I'm gonna end on, I had a look on YouTube and there's a YouTube channel, I'll flash the name up on screen now, where he's done a few different songs pressing the button. So I'm gonna try to learn a song to finish up on and then you have to put down in the comments what that song is. Here we go, I've got it in this little wallet and I've been learning my song, so let me just limber up my fingers. Ah, here we go. 
Hopefully I'll be able to do it first time. Now let's just put it to the musical calculator. It actually works, look, if you do it like this. It's, uh, it is a calculator in this mode. Right, you ready? This is my song, put it in the comments if you recognise it. Uh, thank you. So well happy with this one. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big, big thumbs up and please subscribe for more Trying to Fix videos. Take care. Bye now.